All right, time now to hit the road with the wreck. That's right. As you know, Carrie, my weekly feature sometimes is sports related. Today, we meet Francina McCoy. She is considered one of the fastest runners in the world and recently proved it at the World Track and Field Championships. Get out those running shoes. It's time to hit the road. This week's Wreck on the Road takes me to Hampton University, where I am joined by world champion Francina McCoy. She just came back from the World Championships in South Korea, where she took a first in the 4x400-meter relay. Tell me about the experience and what that means to you, Francina. The experience was awesome. I had a really great time running with some really great athletes, um, Allison Felix, Sonia Richards were on my team. So, And I got the opportunity to run anchor leg, so it was just great. And It was my first time there, and I really enjoyed it. All right, now's your opportunity. Show me your hardware. You've, got, you've won a lot of medals in your day, but nothing quite like this, the gold medal. What does that mean to you? It really means a lot. Um, for my first year coming out as a pro track athlete, you know, it's kind of hard when it's your first year. So for me to get a gold medal my first year, it's just amazing. What is the biggest difference going from uh, running NCAA track and field for Hampton University to the world stage for Team USA? Well, on the world stage, it's more serious. You still have the same fun aspect, but it's more serious versus, versus in college. You can play around a little bit, but on the world stage, it's kind of like your job. So. You have to put your, all, all your head in. <laughs> You're talking world stage. This sport of yours, track and field, is taking you to so many great places. Tell me some of the places you've been to. Well, as you know, I've been to South Korea. I've been to Germany. I've been to London. I've been to Monaco. I've been to Berlin. Like, the list just goes on and on. <laughs> Not bad for a, a girl who grew up in Hampton, graduating from Bethel High School. When did you get started in track and field? And tell me about the start. I got started um, running when I was in the sixth grade, but I took it serious when I got to Bethel High School in the ninth grade when Coach Eddie Williams was coaching me. And uh, you always had, I'm sure, a talent for it. Can you explain where that came from? Uh, I honestly don't know where it came from. Um, I was always the fastest one in my gym class in middle school, so you know the gym teachers just kind of looked at me and said, hey, you should run track. And at first I was like, no, I don't want to do that, but I began to love it. A graduate of Hampton University, Francina graduated in psychology, but she wants to be a mortician when she uh, hangs up her shoes. Why is that? I would like to be a mortician for a few reasons. Um, it's job security. I never lose my job. Um, and I'll never have to deal with complaining customers. <laughs> <laughs> you get uh, What kind of result, uh, feedback do you get when you tell people that? <laughs> they usually laugh and think I'm joking, but I'm serious. <laughs> now let's get serious about track and field. We got the Olympics coming up next year, and if you do that well at the World Championships, chances are you're going to be on the Olympic team. What does that mean to you that you're that close to making it to England? It's very, very exciting. Um, I actually started back practice yesterday, and that's one of my number one goals is to make the Olympic team. So that'll mean a lot to me. I know as a little girl growing up in Hampton, you always dreamed of one day being at the Olympics. You're so close. What is it going to take to get you there? Uh, it's going to take hard work, it's going to take dedication, it's going to take sacrifice, but it'll all be worth it as soon as I hit the track in London. Francina McQuarrie, we're going to see her in London real soon at the Olympics. She is the fastest woman in Hampton Roads and she is this week's Wreck on the Road.